Hello everybody, my name is Zelenator. This is my guide for updating a classic world to InDev. Be prepared that things will get a little technical. However, this will allow us to load it in any InDev version and the player data will not regenerate and create a fresh InDev house. We will be needing MCEdit Testing 288 and NBT Explorer. Assuming you already have the classic world you want to upgrade, first thing you want to do is create an InDev world. Assuming that the classic world is the normal size, you are able to just save the InDev level. If the classic world size is not the same as one of the regular InDev world sizes, then please refer to my Combining InDev Worlds guide for assistance when working with custom world sizes. In this scenario, the classic world is the normal size, therefore we are able to just save as a normal in-dev world. Once the world is saved, you can close in-dev for now. After in-dev is closed, you will then want to locate your classic world. If it is saved in the .dat format, you will want to rename it to the .mine format. Do note that MCEdit is unable to open certain classic worlds if they are of custom sizes. If that is the case, then you will want to include the world dimensions in the level name. The format for world dimensions is width, length, height. Because this is a normal classic world, our width is 256 blocks. We have a length of 256 blocks and the height is 64. Once the classic world is prepared, you can then open MCEdit. From MCEdit, you will then want to locate your classic world that you will be importing into InDev. Once the classic world is opened, you will then want to select all chunks. This can be done using Control A to select all. With all chunks selected, you will then want to export and save it as a schematic. Once the world is saved, you can close MCEdit. Next, you will then want to locate the schematic you just made and open it with NBT Explorer. If you cannot automatically open schematic files through NBT Explorer after having NBT Explorer installed, you will need to right click and hit open with, then select the NBT Explorer executable. Once NBT Explorer is opened, you will want to open the Blocks tag. From here, click on the Export button. Then give it a name and hit Save. You can then close the Blocks window. While still in NBT Explorer, go to File and Open. You will then want to open the index file that you will be importing into. Once the in-dev level has been located, open it. With the in-dev level open, click on Map and open the Blocks tab. You will then press the Import button and locate the exported blocks from Classic, then Open. You can then press OK and make sure to Save. We are now done with NBT Explorer. This next step is not necessary, but it will be beneficial. You will want to open MCEdit once again, and then open the new InDev level that you have just imported your classic chunks into. If the world looks correct, and if the player spawn position looks correct, then you have successfully imported the world, and you can close MCEdit. All that is left to do is open Minecraft and then you can load the level that you just edited. If everything appeared fine within MCEdit, then everything should appear fine within the game, because we did not make any modifications to the world within MCEdit, then we will not have to deal with being unable to load before February 6th, and we will not also regenerate a brand new in-dev house. Thank you all for watching. Bye!